Grace Missionary Church. Greetings viewers all over the world. Thank you for watching Charis TV. We are here in Charis Missionary Church Auditorium with Prophet Andres on a one-on-one -on -one session. Many of you believe that when Apostle J.B. Maganis is not around, there is no one-on-one. -on -one. But what you are about to witness, what you are about to see, it's clips, videos of people being prayed for and they were healed. Those who were not, being, were not able to walk, they started walking. Those who were diagnosed with cancer and doctors told them that it was not able for them to walk again, to live again like a normal person, they were healed. And I believe that the next person that we'll be seeing here in Charis Missionary Church testifying is shall be you in Jesus name and I believe that right now wherever you are you are doing your bookings to come and encounter the power of God upon your life in Jesus name stay connected and stay blessed amen ma'am can you please tell us your name tell us where you come from and also tell us the problem that you're facing in your life that made you to come here okay my name is Nora Naga I'm originally from Limpopo but I'm currently staying in Pretoria North I came here because the doctors said I have a lung cancer. Yes. And how did this affect you? <sighs> it was it's painful. I was confused. I was I was like uh, speechless because it was not the first time to be diagnosed with cancer. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015. I did everything. I went through the the tre I went through the chemo, the treatment, and I was taking them the medication. But uh, recently, I've developed some some pa some chest pain. And then I went to the doctor. They gave me some painkillers, but they worked for a few hours. And then when I came back, he, he said, "No, let's do the CD scan, so that we'll check everything inside you." We did see this again, and the livers and the other organs, they were fine, but it shows that the cancer came back because I was clean. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was doing the checkups every, every year, mammograms, scans, kind of those checkups. And then it shows that it came back on both my lungs. Yes. And, and, and how is this making you to feel because i believe it has affected your lifestyle it has affected the way you used to do things were you feeling pains in your body because of this problem yes i was feeling a, a terrible pain it was too much than the previous one of breast cancer because on the on the one for breast cancer i could go to work i could work i could do like everything but this one i couldn't wake up i've been sleeping since i've been experiencing the pain yeah it it, it changed like it was a short period of time because i was diagnosed on monday with the lung cancer but the the pain i had maybe for about two months but it affected my family my husband my child like everyone in the family so since they hear about the result on Monday, everyone was shocked because everyone believed that I was healed, yes. And today, by the grace of God, you were able to see the Prophet on one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience and what did he say to you regarding this problem that you're facing in your life? No, he told me that, actually he told me before we can go on one-on-one, -on -one because he can feel it well, we are still sitting there. He told me that you've got something on your on your chest which I, th I, I know that he was referring to the breast cancer and then when he was supposed to uh, about to leave he said there's something here which I thought he's referring to maybe a lung cancer so when I go there on one on one it was just a, a confirmation because I believed already I was healed before we go on one on one so I was just finishing for what I came here just to talk to him yeah and how was the experience uh, speaking with him one on one on one session yo it was nice experience it's like uh, I feel like we can talk and talk and talk and talk I didn't want him to finish because everything that he was saying it was making it was it was the truth yeah so 
I was enjoying the conversation, even the pains on my chest. I didn't take my painkillers in the morning. I told myself that today I'm going to see the man of God. I'm not taking any pill. Yeah, so I, I, I believe re I've received my healing from today. Actually, I've received it as, uh, when I, I was entering here on Tuesday. Yes. You are even smiling and I believe at that particular time when he was praying for you, something happened. What really happened when he was praying for you? How did you feel in your body? Shit! Demon of the family. Demon! Leave the demon! I was feeling like, um, you know, I was feeling suffocated, mm. kind of constipated, mm. wanted to breathe, but something's like, there was something that wanted to come out. I was not feeling like a, a normal breath on me. I was feeling heavy, suffocated, mm. constipated. I wanted the air, mm. uh, the air, but I could feel that no, no, no. Now I'm not that person that I, I yeah, yeah. And how are you feeling right now? I'm happy. I can't wait to get home tomorrow to tell my family because my mother is here. She came from Limpopo. She was here for the service and yesterday, actually they were even happy with my husband yesterday when they see me because they saw a different person. I was I was beautiful, I was smiling, I was glowing. Yes. 
So I can't wait to go back home, you know, so that I can tell them what the prophet said and they can see me. Because Bona already, they believed yesterday when they leave here, they said, no, you are healed. Yes, and I believe or I'm healed. And then I'll come back with the testimony of what the prophet said because he, he told me to do some certain things. Yes. I've got some th certain things that I need to do. So soon I'll be coming back with the testimony. And as I believe that God has done it for you, your family believed that by me stepping here in Charles Mission or Church, you've already tapped into your blessing, your healing. And today it has been confirmed that you're totally healed. Words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there because the moment when people are diagnosed with cancer, they feel like, you know what, it is unbeatable. You cannot conquer. If you conquer, it's going to still come back. But by the grace of God, I believe you are a testimony to many women out there. What can you say to other people out there? And then to elaborate more on that, on 2015, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I came here. I didn't do one-on-one. -on -one. I was just coming for, 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 for the miracle services on, on, on Wednesday. And I've been on my position, I'm sure, for more than 10 years. But after coming here, I got healed. The cancer was not spread. It was only on the, on the, on the what do you call the breast, and they could re remove it, and I was okay. I was here on Wednesday. Thursday, they called me that I've got, a, I've got a, a, a job at Department of Social Development, and which was 2015. And I regret not coming back here to give a testimony about my healing and about my promotion. So now I've got this lung cancer, I came back. <laughs> And we believe that this time you shall surely come back to tell us that you are healed. Yes, this time I will come back and, and, and give uh, uh, the testimony. Because when on Monday, my aunt came to my house and she said, go to Prophet Makananis. And I said, no, I don't have money. She said, no, I have money. Yes. Thank you. So whoever who is diagnosed with cancer, cancer is curable. Like, especially I've seen it and it happened in 2015 and I believe it will happen even now in 2019. For cancer, it fall. So whoever, any sickness, it fall. Thank you. Okay, thank you.